Happy day, friends. It's a quiet morning here. The ambiance, 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 however you want to say it. It feels like we're getting into fall. And I know it's still July, but I feel like the weather is starting to make some changes. And right now it's a little bit rainy out. It's a little bit gray. It's a, such a quiet morning. Lucas is just starting to wake up and it is just, it's setting, it's setting me up for a good day, I can tell. Feels good. Good morning. Good morning. Let's give you some food. not hungry anymore. Now he had his breakfast. Do you want to read a book with us? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to sit on here like a boat or do you want to sit up here with us? Right here like a boat? <laughs> right? Okay. It's called Dino Book. Oh, look at that. Is that in there? Page. What? Mom. Page is in there? How is that? No, that's mommy in there. Paige. What? No, that's mommy in there. That's Paige. What? No, that's mommy in there. Yeah. Look, who's in there? What? Lucas is in there? <laughs> what? What in the world? All right, what's this guy called? A dinosaurus. How did you know that? That was very good, Paige. Oh, now I do it. Yeah, it's soft, huh? Okay, I have something to ask you today. Do you want to go shopping for new school clothes? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, good, because that's what we're doing. Whoa, watch out for the breast milk. <laughs> okay. What's the breast milk? It's right here. Hey, look. That's what I get, like, first thing in the morning. And then the second feeding, I get about the same amount. And so like every day I get that much. But my evening supply is just like, it's not there. So we're still figuring it out. Okay, which drill bib should he wear today? What color? The black um, one. That's green. I <laughs> Good morning. I need to double check their clothes. I'm pretty sure I know what they each need. I need to double check, make sure. Just make sure I'm sure. <laughs> Man, Paige, did a tornado come in here? Was there a tornado in your room? No. Oh, what happened? Ah! You threw everything out? Yeah, because I wanted to find my booty. Oh, you were looking for your booty cat. I got you. I understand. I get it. Mom, do tornadoes make a mess? Yeah, sometimes they make a really big mess. But I, I just make the world a little mess. Yeah. Does that mean you're like a little tornado? No. Oh, you're just a little page? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mom, mom, mom. Oh, hey, Micah, Micah. Hey, Lucas, Lucas. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna bring him over here on the bed. Paige has been wanting to play with him on her bed, okay? You can go sit with her. All right, well, let's clear out a spot for Lucas to sit. Cause I don't even think there's room on here. That's better. Now we can have a big box. There, Mr. Lucas. Now you can play with your sisters on the bed. It is not uncommon for them to just kind of hang out and chill on their beds together and, and really they just love to play with Lucas on the bed. Um, it's comfortable and safe for him and he he loves it and I love it because I can take a moment and sit down in this little chair. You think I'm too big for this? <laughs> well, I think it's pretty comfortable for me actually. I'll sit here for just a minute. I'll get off of it in a minute. I won't break it, I promise. She just rolled her eyes at me. But they love their beds. Um, they are Helix Kids mattresses, and this episode is sponsored by Helix Kids. We've loved Helix as a company, as a sponsor. Um, Austin and I have been sleeping on our bed for, gosh, almost three years now. The girls have had their mattresses. 
since I want to say a few months before Lucas was born is when I redid their rooms. Helix Sleep designed their kids mattress with kids needs and preferences in mind. They are guaranteed safe, they're comfortable, they're durable, they ship to your door just like the other ones. Not guaranteed fun, but I can almost count on it. One of the coolest things about the mattress is that it has a two-sided design and I will show you guys over here since I'm not even gonna attempt to clear off that bed. So this side is what both my girls sleep on right now. It's from ages three to seven. And as they get older, the other side is age 12. This side is a little bit firmer. It's good for their developing spines. And then once you flip it over, it's a little bit softer, a little bit more comfortable um, for what the older kids tend to prefer. Their mattresses go through lots of testing. Um, no harmful chemicals are used when making them. They go through extensive phthalate testing. And that is part of the reason why they guarantee these mattresses safe for your little ones. And like I said, they included a lot of features in their kids' mattress that are very particular to kids. It has a hypoallergenic cover that's really good for moisture wicking and airflow. It has a water resistant finish that aids in any spills or accidents that may happen. And it also has a microbe shield which helps with odor, um, odor causing bacteria, stuff like that to keep the hygiene of your mattress as good as possible. <laughs> The testing of their mattresses did not stop there. They have also tested them with child behavioral spe specialists, medical professionals, sleep consultants, and most importantly, kids from age three to 12. <laughs> hey Lucas, do I need to rescue you yet? <laughs> Parents Magazine in 2022 named the Helix Kids Mattress best mattress, and I think that's for good reason. I think it's time for me to rescue him a little bit. <laughs> but just like their adult mattresses, the kids' mattresses also come with a 100-night sleep trial. Your kids can test them out, make sure they love them. They have a 10-year warranty, flexible payment plans, and financing options if you need to take that route. But if you guys want to give them a try, if you're in the market for a new mattress for yourself or your kids, you can go to helixsleep.com slash happy day. That will get you 20% off and two free pillows. Time for shopping. Who is ready to go shopping today for some new school clothes? And maybe a couple things for you. Cause I know that dad is not gonna be able to resist. Everyone is getting dressed and ready to go, which means I think we are gonna get out of here at a reasonable time, which is not very common in this house. As long as there is no major fighting, we'll be good to go. The last few days, um, I told you guys my milk supply was kind of feeling like it was dwindling. Still not super comfortable with where it's at, but I don't think it's getting worse, which is a good sign. And thank you for all of the recommendations. Um, very much appreciated that. I think any mom who is kind of struggling really with anything, because there are so many so many struggles that we face as moms or as parents in general. Um, so the support and the comfort was really just like what I needed. Thank you. Who is ready to go shopping? Everyone except dad. <laughs> Say it with me kids. Ready? Target, 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 target. <laughs> What's up buddy boy? Should we do some preschool shopping for you? Like pre-preschool? Like even before preschool shopping? Well, that ain't 90s. I don't know what is. Green ones. They got all the squiggles. We're so we're so early for back to school shopping that we actually have options. Yeah, on top of it. I'm I am on top of it. Can I get Paw Patrol shoes? Look at how fun these color block ones are. Those are oh. So many kids crying in Target right now, and I feel like this is our only saving grace because our kids are no different. <laughs> hey, have a snack, and we'll keep shopping. We got, we got, a, we got a bunch of shoes that we found. Micah found these, like special find because I wasn't gonna get them, but she does need new rain boots, and these are on clearance, so she did a great job. <laughs> I'll help you. So much whining. We should have known better than to bring our kids clothes shopping. However, no whining from this little man. He's just being an angel. Hey mom, do I get to do any post school, post back to never school shopping? Alumni shopping? 
Yeah, you could do some alumni shopping. Yeah. Just don't go overboard with the summer stuff, because I know you love summer stuff, but summer's going to be over in month. All right. plenty of summer stuff. I feel like I'm talking to you like you're right, my mom. child. Okay, but mom. But you need reminded sometimes. Shawty got me catching feelings. I just hope she throw it back. Throw it, throw it back. Trouble low, you can play it on a jack. Taking this one to the local watering hole. <laughs> Press it first, and then... <laughs> Turn your face more toward the water. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Turn your face like this. <laughs> no, like, turn, turn your mouth to the water. There you go. And did you get <laughs> it? Nice. Very different vibes on the way home than, <laughs> than when we were on our way. If my soul had a look right now, it would be like a, a, a lady with just like really gray frazzled hair. A, ha a haggard old lady. Yeah, that's about how I'm feeling right now too. That wine from the Grinch is like, they're <laughs> relentless. <laughs> Here's a happy boy. A happy boy. Did he scratch you? Whoops. Whoopies! Whoopies, yes, sweetie? Get a big pile of... Get a big pile of... oranges in the fridge so that we can get which one we really want. That's a great idea, Paige. <laughs> he loves your pterodactyl, Paige. That was a good idea, putting your pterodactyl there for him to, yeah, him to play with. It. Whoops! <laughs> I twirled that right there. He twirled his wing so it's easier to hold. Yeah. Here you go, Lucas. Dawned on me that I never actually showed you guys all the things that we got at Target for them, uh, for school shopping. Some really cute stuff, I feel. Anyways, like super cute, very excited about it. So this is Paige's little, little mini, mini shopping spree. She needed a couple shirts, uh, but we got her three different pairs of like leggings slash jeggings and another pair of shorts along with two pairs of shoes. These we found the last minute and they're super cute. I didn't even see all these. You didn't? No. Well, take a look. Nice. They're super cute, right? Good job. Thanks. <laughs> Just some plain black leggings and then super soft shirt. This one's the same as Paige's little uh, cheetah one over there. Dress, a couple little blousey shirts, another t-shirt and like a long sleeve. Oh, and she got these cute little sneakers and as well as these shiny things that Paige got and the clearance rain boots. <laughs> this was the first time shopping for Micah in the actual like girls section, which was very bittersweet. We've only ever really shopped in the toddler toddler kids section for her and she's there, like she's at that age. We're moving up, it's wild. Super exciting because like it's fun to watch her grow up. I'm gonna just eat away my sorrows and swallow all my sadness. Yes, exactly. Where'd all those cookies go? I don't know, not in my belly. But she's growing up so fast. Try to stay busy before I start falling my eyes out. <laughs> and you, you just stay little as long as you can, okay? Yeah? You stay little. Page two, I feel like the last two weeks, maybe, maybe getting closer to a month now. Really, ever since she's been more independent with potty training. She's potty trained now and, and I feel like with each new milestone that they hit, their independence level and their personality and and just the way they carry themselves as a little person, it all like skyrockets right at the same time as soon as they hit one of those milestones. So page two, she is growing up just the same. How long do I tap them for? Like do I tap them together hard? Well, you tap them together as, and when as I fast say stop, as I can? Yeah. Okay, I'm doing it. Stop. What in the world? Whoa! That's crazy! Fast, fast, fast. And hard. Okay. Stop. Yeah. Now leave them apart. 
They're slowly going together. <laughs> That's crazy, Micah. <laughs> I had to wake myself up with another cup of coffee, but I am off to a, it's like a mini celebration slash mini bridal, bridal shower, but more so like we're gonna help Amber plan some of the details of her wedding and I'm so excited. So that's where I'm off to, Austin's with the kids. I'm gonna peace out with Lucas and we are also ending the vlog here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope those of you with kids are not going crazy with all the to-do list things that you feel like you need to do before back to school. But we thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye friends.